A lot of people are choosing to grow their own transplants in their homes. I see two minor potential problems. First of all, lack of light in the home. And secondly, how do you harden transplants like cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli? You don't need a greenhouse for jobs like this. I think a cold frame does the job just fine. Think of it in terms of a mini greenhouse. And let's just take a look at some of the different things going on in here right now. Lettuce can be grown outside the season, earlier in the spring or later in the fall, as well as other cool season crops. Then there are some perennial flowers like this delphinium, which can be started in the cold frame in August and carried through the winter in the cold frame, set out first thing in the spring. Some perennials, when they're seeded only in the spring, just don't get the size they need when it's time to be placed outside. Cool season annuals grown in your basement under artificial lights do need maximum light, so go ahead and transplant them, move them out to the cold frame, and you'll get a much more compact plant. Of course, a lot of our warm season annuals should be seeded directly in the cold frame. On warm days, these cold frames do need to be open to get ventilation in to keep the plants from baking. There's one other use, of course, of the cold frame, and that is to root some cuttings that you may have in your home. This tray of cacti and succulents has been out here for a while, and you can see some real good root systems starting to form on many of these plants. Of course, woody cuttings do exceptionally well in a cold frame situation as far as developing roots. These things are very easy to construct. Basically, a wooden frame cover both the inside and the outside with clear poly. I'm Mary Witt, Extension Horticulture Specialist, UK College of Agriculture.